Get away from that encyclopedia. We ain't interested. Okay, Archie. Hey, uh, where's the crummy manager of this broken down joint? <laughs> As I was saying, Miss Barry... Listen, either I talk to the manager or somebody's going to get a poke in the put. <laughs> Excuse me, Miss Barry. Uh, no doubt somebody just finished our eating our blue plate luncheon here. Go right ahead, Archie. I'll see you later. Now, look here, lady. What's the idea of creating a disturbance? Who do you think you are? Well, I'm Cass Daly. Oh. Oh. ain't my fault. <laughs> what do you want around here anyway? Well, you advertised for a high-class hostess, didn't you? Yes, we did. Can't you read? <laughs> of course I can read. And I got culture, too. Why, if anyone's looking, I wouldn't dream of diving for a cigarette butt. <laughs> I said it, and I'm glad. <laughs> Listen, I happen to be a product of a finishing school. The product of a finishing school, huh? Yeah. Well, here and there I can detect a little absenteeism. <laughs> but you see, this job requires manners and a knowledge about etiquette. Oh, well, I got plenty of etiquette. Whenever I eat, I always have my little finger extended. That denotes elegance? No, it signifies a left turn into the spaghetti. <laughs> what do you... <laughs> What do you do, throw your left leg out when you go after noodles? <laughs> well, to tell you the truth, I was considering, uh, well, uh, you know, a, a younger dame for the job. Well, I, I'm pretty young. Just how old do you think I am anyway? Come on, take a guess. Well, what are you waiting for? I'm trying to decide between the truth and a broken nose. <laughs> But... Well, you know, you know, looks are often deceiving. Go on, go on. Try to guess my age. You know, I, uh, I could be sweet 16. I could be 19. I could be a little older. <laughs> Certain types of lizards live for three centuries. <laughs> I'm set it and I'm glad. Will you get out of here? Well, now, what do you say? Do I get the job or not? Well, I can't decide between you and Miss Barry. Uh, can you uh, do anything besides uh, host? Are you kidding? I'm a singer, too. Well, let me hear you sing a song. That might help me decide. All right, here I go. But stand back. I may blast you into the street, you know. <laughs> beauty prize is something I never will pay. I'm quite aware neither pills nor prayer can rectify nature's mistake. I guess I'm an awful rat. Me with my gorgeous hands. Every time I try to get a man, he always gets away. Well, you can't blame a guy. There was one who seemed to love me till I tried to name a day. Well, you can't blame a gal for trying. One guy almost married me the very night we met. Then he saw me in the daylight, and he ain't stopped running yet. I may never get a sucker for the broken down brunette, but you can't blame a gal for trying. Just the other day. Not conceal. He 
said, have a drink. Then I gave him a wink and answered, it's a deal. <laughs> down went the bourbon, down went the solo boy, I was feeling gay. Then he put his arms around me, and I said, take your hands away. Call the doctor that morning to see that everything was still all right. And when he opened up my mouth that morning, he said, My dear, there's not a tooth in sight. I'll never smile. My smiling days are Wonderful, Miss Daly. Had the same delicate quality as a burp in a sauna box. <laughs> well, they call me Whispering Daly, yes. you know, yes. Well, tell me now, do I get the job or not? Yes, which one of us gets the hostess job, Archie? Well, after looking at the thing from all angles, and uh, <laughs> believe me, I ain't leaving yours out, Miss Barry. Uh, I, uh, I think maybe Miss Daly is the best choice. After all, she can sing and entertain the customers. Well, then, I guess I'll be going. Well, now, don't rush off. Stick around. What for? I can't sing. I can't dance. What could I do to entertain? Uh, it is generally agreed that Gypsy oh. Rose Lee is the form... Then I get it. Cass Daly and Lynn Barry, and thanks too to Charlie Cantor, who plays Finnegan. Well, then, all of us hope you've enjoyed this 30 minute tour through some of the famous fictitious and real addresses along Radio Row. Remember, Command Performance is your show, so if you've got any special requests in mind, let's hear about them. We'll be waiting for your letters. Next week, there'll be another big command performance, so listen if you can, won't you? This is Ken Carpenter saying so long and good luck. This is the Armed Forces Radio Service.